welcome to Kikao, your weekly authoritative program on Africa's agriculture. On the show this week, we focus on the women. They are seen as the face of agriculture on the continent, but just how much do they get out of it? My name is Joe Ageo, and in a short while, we'll be speaking to a panel of experts to tell us exactly what Africa's agriculture has to offer for the women. But first, the scene setter. If you say you are into gender development and you take one segment, you are beginning to fail because you never run on one leg and win the race. So you must take both of them together. So today, men and women are doing business together. Uh, most often, they are marginalized groups with very limited access, although they play a critical role in terms of food security and nutritional security at the household level and at the community level. Let's now join Dr. Kanishas Kanangire, the executive director of AATF, as he engages a panel of those who would know what ought to be the place of the African woman in agriculture. Women make essential contributions to the agricultural and rural economies in all developing countries. Their role vary considerably between and within regions and are changing rapidly in many parts of the world where economic and social forces are transforming the agricultural sector. Rural women often manage complex households and pursue multiple livelihood methods. According to a 2015 FDB report, an average of 62% of economically active women in Africa work in agriculture and play a key role in food production and provision for their households. However, these female farmers produce less than their male counterparts because they own less than 2% of the world's land with a mere 10% of agricultural credit access. The gender gap in agriculture is generally associated with limited access and control over innovative agricultural technologies, extension services, education, financial services, and rural employment. Women also have limited participation in agricultural research and development policies, interventions, and decision-making, and are underrepresented in outstanding farmers' organizations. On this week's episode of uh, Kikao, we examine the crucial role played by women in agriculture and how Africa can unlock their untapped potential to boost food production. My name is Dr. Kanishas Kanangire. I'm the executive director of AATF. And on my distinguished panel this week, I have a renowned academic and practitioner, Professor Ruth Onyango, who is the founder Rural Outreach Program Africa and 2017 recipient of Africa Food Prize. And Mashumba Ramiso, CEO and founder Nandi Africa. You are welcome. How do you paint mm. the uh, participation of women mm. in the agricultural uh, production sector today mm. in Africa? Mm. They do all the production. They worry about what everybody else is mm -hmm. going to eat, mm. but they are kept away from decision making, mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. policy making. They are kept away from the money. And you know, I've been around enough to know all the conferences that take place, and then resources are committed to Africa. Sometimes they call me, they say, Ruth, aren't you happy now? I say, no, until I see it on the ground, mm. until I see it on the smallholder farmer, mm. and until I see it on the woman farmer. And let me also say that it's not in the whole of Africa that you have women only farming on the ground as smallholder farmers. I've been to other countries specifically where it is man and woman also farming. So it all depends on the cultural setting, but to a large extent, yes, it is woman, but you know, everybody else eats, but the woman does the worst. Yes. And what women need, by the way, I've seen, it's not even a whole lot. 
because the technologies she's talking about mm. very critical mm. the knowledge transfer it needs to be done in a way that suits the woman mm. that suits the woman yeah. she cannot be leaving her home going to some center to some training staying there for three days mm. what meantime is happening to her family because she's the primary nurturer and we have to put that into account what are those uh, factors, mm -hmm. those challenges which hinder mm -hmm. the, 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 the women mm -hmm. to really benefit mm -hmm. of that production and that work mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. on the farm. Mm -hmm. We are marginalized mm -hmm. in terms of education. Mm -hmm. So the girl child is, go is not going to school mm -hmm. while the, the boy child might be going to school. Mm -hmm. And then it starts there and then at a tender age she's getting married mm -hmm. at 14 years of age. Mm. already she's already seen as she can't contribute much mm. so I think we need to address from infancy level mm. to yes. say how do we make sure that our girl child remains in school yes. how does she mm. get the same access mm. because even when you look at the statistics in terms of um, the how the percentage of girls in school they get less and less as we go up the hierarchy for myself I find myself as a farmer I am attending meetings um, for policy mm for different things and I find sometimes in the room I'm the only woman. Mm -hmm. So something is wrong. Mm -hmm. So until we start making sure that we have more women, women on the table and we see it as normal. You know, like in our culture, I remember like just having a conversation with other, as a young person myself, even my other, my, you know, other young farmers who are men, when we're having conversation, they still feel that there's nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. So until we, and we, up, we say to ourselves, there is something wrong. And you know what? We mm. really need both genders. Mm -hmm. We need both genders mm. to mm. be able for us to develop mm. Africa, the Africa mm. we want. For mm. us to reduce hunger, we cannot have one gender at policy. We need both genders. Mm. I think uh, uh, it, it is very critical and we need to take uh, um, some decisions or influence some decisions mm. so that we can change that from, from the root mm -hmm. uh, cause, which is that inequality uh, from the tender age. But, when we come, mm -hmm. let's take a break. When we come, mm -hmm. we look at what we need to do mm -hmm. to improve the situation. Mm -hmm. Sunlight 2-in-1 washing powder to give my clothes a sensational clean and an uplifting fragrance. Sunlight. More than you expect. I was married to become a Rafiki Wakubwa son. He loved him so deep even that he was willing to risk. Who is this person? My best friend's dad. Hata kitubu si kari hivyo. Mindi kujia kujiona kwa mba ni mevutiwa na dadake. Na dadake mindi fana ya tendo na doa. Eh, mi kuenda kwa nyumba niliwapata kwa kitanda. Ninge wakaribia tu hivi. Anajua side chicks za. Side chicks. Anajua side chicks. Si kuelewa kwa mba ilikuwa asiri ya mke wangu wama pia likuwa na mtamani. Ni madama meumbwa vizuri. Warembo. Ni nini muhimu kwenu mnapununua body lotion? Smoothness, scent, glow. Nunua nice and lovely body lotion. Ina transform dry skin kuwa deeply nourished na kui smoothen. Na fragrance nayo? Hmm, watch it too. Now available in the 850ml pack. Chagua Kenya's number one body lotion. Being among the top ranking in development, Kiambu is a story of milestones rolled in hard work, dedication and grit. Governor Kimani Wamatangi's election has set this Mount Kenya County on an even higher trajectory. Never has any regime put more emphasis on delivery of top-tier health services than Governor Wamatangi's government. Kiambu Afia 
has really, really impacted positively on our community. The county has been running a feeding program for all the ECD centers where 36,000 students in 524 ECD centers get three eggs per week and a cup of nutrient-rich Uji daily. Shule zote, hakuna mtoto wata moja anaenda shule, anakosa asubuhi kupata kikombe ama bakuli ya uji mzuri ya vitamin ya nyekasukari. While other counties wrestle with the complexities of what devolution has been 10 years on, Kiambu is showing, not just saying how it's done. Panda tukupandishe on new entertainment this new year on Go TV. Bila kulipia extra. Kama uko on Go TV Light, lipia Go TV Value. Utapata kufrahia Go TV Plus. Tayani on Go TV Value, then lipia Go TV Plus. U enjoy Go TV Max. Kama wewe ni wa Go TV Plus, lipia Go TV Max. Uji nice na shows no makabisa on Go TV Super. Frahia, the best sports, international shows, na local shows una like free. Download Go TV Stream. Go TV. Love it. You knew the torture I was going through. You let people think I was an awful person. You let me despise myself. Why do you have bruises? Some people showed up at the rest house and attacked us. At first I thought that those men were sent there by Aunt Celestina. He's clearly not a good influence on your daughter at all. We must keep them apart. And you'll stop seeing Adrian from now on. What if he's not responsible for Mommy's death? Secrets of El Paraíso. Join the Optivan family today and experience the epitome of coastal living at Ocean View Ridge Vipingo by Optivan. Call us on 0790-300-300. The moment I feel my pain starting to fade, it's like I'm going back to myself on a really good day. Panadol Extra releases you from strong pain. Panadol. Release starts here. There's a kind of bank assurance intermediary that really allows you to relax because you know you'll be good. That's Corp Bank Assurance Intermediary for you. Get covered real good through Corp Bank Assurance Intermediary. on new entertainment this new year on Go TV. Bila kulipia extra. Frahia, the best sports, international shows, nama local shows, una like free. Download Go TV stream. Go TV. Love it. Welcome back to the Kikao session. Mm -hmm. What can we do to ensure that women get their fair share mm. on... Uh, from the agricultural sector. No wonder Africa is hungry mm. because we are depending on these women mm. to feed ourselves. How can we? So as Africa, we then look back to our culture. And our culture meant that our whole community together is not only women producing mm. food. In mm. fact, women made food, mm. nurtured the children, and the men were the providers. Mm. We can't feed the continent we can't feed a community where only the we, the small agenda with so many other loads on her back is actually producing the food. We understand that we need to put our hands on. We need to be able to benefit the same way mm -hmm. of the agricultural mm -hmm. activities and effort we put in. But there is still the gender gap. Mm -hmm. How do we address it? We need to allow for if it's 50% women participation at all agriculture programs, um, you know, even if it's organizational level, mm -hmm. uh, who are your beneficiaries? Mm -hmm. um, in Zimbabwe, we find that women are mainly doing the um, horticulture, the small crops, mm -hmm. and the men are doing the more cash crops. Mm -hmm. How then do we ask or even um, big organizations to ensure that some of their beneficiaries, a certain percentage, are women. Mm -hmm. I think when we start making actionable steps, that's when mm -hmm. we can start saying, okay, we're beginning to solve the challenges. Mm -hmm. Even at even if you're running an organization mm -hmm. and or you're doing a panel and you find that all the time you're always nominating men, it's always there's only men, the face of men, then we are not really 
sharing a true picture of where the Africa we want. Mm -hmm. But when we start saying that at all levels in the organization, at all levels in policy, at mm -hmm. all levels across, we're ensuring that women are equally representative, mm -hmm. represented as much as men. Mm -hmm. Then we can start seeing some of these changes. Mm -hmm. What are those opportunities that we need to give to women mm -hmm. so that we can really transform agriculture and be able to feed our communities and uh, to uh, stop the current state of hunger on the continent. Mm -hmm. yeah. So once you make it political will mm. driven, mm. then you see things start to happen everywhere organically mm. and you don't have to force it. Of course, within some of the cultures, they say, no, we can never have a woman. We still have that, mm. you know? But uh, it, it's, it's, it's something that has to be in the ethos of the, of the community, of the country, and everybody is thinking of it. And I found myself personally that when men start pushing for it, mm. that we need more women. And I've seen a woman do this. We have daughters. I want mm. my daughter to feel like she, you know, she can, she, you know, she can go wherever she wants to go. She can be anything. Young men are our biggest allies. Mm -hmm. Because they just say, you know, my mama, my mama, ma daddy will do this to but mama, mama. Mm -hmm. You know, and they say, no, 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 no. Let us support the, wi the, the, the women to go forward. Mm -hmm. so, so I think we need to look at our strategic allies and our young men, some mm -hmm. of them unemployed, some of them have no marriages, some of mm -hmm. them are what? They're saying, for a change. We've had independence for so mm. long. Let's see how women will do it. Let's give them a chance. We know mm. it will it will really, really bring fruits here. Mm. If we don't take a decisive mm. a step to change it, mm. it will never mm. happen. Mm. We need to know that our daughters mm. are also, mm. I mean, uh, uh, endowed with potential. Mm -hmm. The same our sons are, mm -hmm. and. Uh, if we give them the opportunity to uh, enrich them with knowledge and mm. technologies, mm. then I think the change will happen, mm. not only at family level, mm. but also at the country and continent level. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think uh, mm. let's take a break and when we come we talk over mm. other thing and mm. compare what we are doing to what the world is doing. Yeah, surely. Welcome back to the Kikao session. Mm. Um, we have been talking about what is happening in Africa mm. and the challenges that we are struggling to, to address on this continent. Do you have some success stories uh, from which we can learn, borrow and leave, mm. uh, which can emulate mm. the transformation of how gender mm. participation, women partic participation particularly, mm. Uh, in agriculture. Mm. Do you have those? Mm. And sure you do. Let's yeah. start, yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> well, <Miso. laughs> um, well, there are certain countries, you mm. know, that are really showing milestones mm. um, of women leadership. Mm. I can give, here yeah, in Africa, there's Rwanda. Mm -hmm. So um, I think they res show us that, you know, women in agriculture can be at the top level. Mm. So for me, um, that's, um, that's, that's a vision. And when I saw that, I was really encouraged because I had never seen it before in my communities. Mm -hmm. And um, when I look at best practices, we also look at other countries um, in Europe where they have really realized even the role of a woman is mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. um, I look at um, countries like Sweden mm -hmm. where they've actually um, allowed women Mm. to or even the woman from the prime minister of Aust Australia mm. who was on a panel with a baby mm. you know some women we are marginalized at childbearing age yeah? yes. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. Mm. at childbearing age we're no mm. longer able to participate because you know you can't come to a panel because you've got a small baby mm -hmm. but we're seeing some of these best practices that it's okay mm. to have a small baby in parliament it's okay if you're on a panel or um, some organizations, they allow for you to travel with a small mm. child. Mm. We're also seeing policies allowing women to, um, to come to work early or to have long um, maternity mm. or to work online. I think there's lots of practices we can do to make sure that we do not lose our 
our female um, gender mm -hmm. in, um, in, in being productive and being able to contribute, mm -hmm. um, especially during childbearing ages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I think uh, we need those policies and implement them. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because <laughs> I, I have seen that uh, in many um, country policies, uh, they have very good statement yes, yeah. uh, on gender mm. and streaming mm -hmm. uh, in agriculture and other sectors. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to implementation, something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we need to have good policies, have them implemented mm -hmm. uh, in that way. And that is how you can reap the benefit yeah. of having uh, women mm -hmm. also in, in those uh, mm -hmm. uh, key positions. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, uh, the example you gave is, uh, is very is very loud in, mm -hmm. in showing the benefit we can get mm -hmm. when there is a, a balance in mm -hmm. the participation mm -hmm. in the decision making and uh, all, all other sections. I think it is very important. What would be the role of access to technology? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because in many countries, I remember African countries, the Sub-Saharan African countries, mm -hmm. when they see a lady on a tractor, for mm -hmm. example, ooh, uh, that lady is on a tractor. You know, everybody knows. <laughs> Even just driving, uh, then this is driving, right? <laughs> and then the other technologies also they make, uh, they, they, they come very slowly into that. And they could change the way we do business mm. in agriculture. What would be the role of agriculture in unlocking those potentials we are talking about? Uh, through I, I, the gender. I, 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 not. I mean, uh, it goes even further yes. than that. Uh, mm -hmm. I, as I was did research in, mm -hmm. in an agricultural uh, environment, one time I learned in that community, we've come a long way. But I can tell you this, I can just tell you this, it's a lot easier to build woman leadership from grassroots. Yeah. Those women at the grassroots level are the ones who really carry the communities, who carry the villages, who nurture the children, who nurture the men. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In my own time, we've done mm. research where we just take women, take them away, you negotiate with their spouses. We want mm. to take mamas away for three weeks. Absolutely. You yeah. find the mm. home almost gone. The men mm. are almost dead. Mm. And they value the mama so much. So I think mm. we just need a harmonious environment. I, I chair this organization, Sasakawa Africa Association. Mm. I'm mm. sure you are aware of it. Yes, it yes, was yeah. created soon after the Ethiopian famine of 1984. Mm. Mm. But you know, so this organization, we intentionally supported women's agriculture. Guess what? Women are producing just as much as men. Absolutely. You talked of equal opportunity. Mm. Technology. Mm. The men will have the technology. See, the, the, the room is full of these men. You know, they are, they are, their brains are just operating like this. Mm. But tell them to translate it to a level where the rural woman can understand is not easy. Mm. So we need to know that, yes, the technology is important but the technology needs to be relevantly packaged and yes. transmitted to that woman. That's something mm. I've said over and over again, but we don't get the resources to, to have extension. Because it's actually a form of and extension. And absolutely that is Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you the teach the them at mm. this level. Mm. And women, you know, my, my, my young friend here, she knows, Women are very good listeners. Yes. Absolutely. We are yes. good listeners, we are good doers, we follow mm. instruction, mm. but it doesn't come to the women. So the technology is absolutely critical. Yeah. And even if it's the women dealing with the smaller crops like vegetables and so on, fruits, which are the nutritious crops, mm. Mm. those are the high value. Those are the ones which can bring a lot of money. They need the information. They need, they yeah. need the technology. The information they need, need to, to know where to how to carry these very mm. delicate yeah. food mm. crops mm. to the market. Yeah. Mm. T t tell me now, mm. uh, with all these, mm. all these challenges, mm. all these things we need to do to uh, change the situation, mm. where do you see mm. the women's participation in agriculture in the, the next 10, 20 years? Nobody is potential. And Africa is about potential, potential, mm. potential. Let us potential. love us mm -hmm. and let us do what we can do best. Mm. And let us also even export that which yeah. we can do best. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ramiso, mm. <laughs> young farmer, <laughs> yes, young yeah. leader, yeah. 20 years from now, <laughs> what, what are we, where, where do you see the woman participating in, in any section of the value chain in agriculture? Mm. Well, I see the woman um, being empowered. Um, you see, women in Africa 
um, they are working too hard mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. smart. Mm -hmm. I see the women harnessing um, technology mm -hmm. where instead of spending the whole day from morning mm -hmm. to night mm -hmm. with the hand hole mm -hmm. digging, mm -hmm. I see her using technology, mm -hmm. um, being able to farm in a, using that technology with higher yields. Because you mm -hmm. know with technology comes higher yields. Mm -hmm. yeah. Higher yields, being able to market her produce mm -hmm. using e-commerce platforms, mm -hmm. being able to be paid mm -hmm. with um, e-payment methods, mm -hmm. being able to be r speak confidently mm -hmm. as yes. we empower our sisters, our daughters to be confident to speak at different places and being respected because of her intellect, her mm -hmm. ability to also contribute to the economy. So mm -hmm. I see a positive um, mm -hmm. future. Your future because yes. the more we are dialoguing, mm. the more mm. we are sharing and exchanging mm. um, our experiences from mm. our different areas, our different cultures, the more we're able to harness that and actually develop it into something greater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, we, we, we can see that uh, uh, from our two uh, panelists, uh, we are seeing the agricultural sector brighter and more contributing to the economic development of our continent mm -hmm. in the next 10 to 20 years. Mm -hmm. But this will come only mm -hmm. if all the comp component of the population, our population is participating equally to this. Mm -hmm. Women, mm -hmm. youth, mm -hmm. and men mm -hmm. are participating equally. Mm -hmm. They have the same opportunities. Mm -hmm. And that is one of our responsibility as policy makers mm -hmm. and decision makers uh, as leaders, influencers, mm -hmm. are to make that possible. Mm -hmm. uh, this will only happen if technology is adopted and used, mm -hmm. not the hard working with mm -hmm. the whole, mm -hmm. which uh, remains an agriculture which will be very low production, mm -hmm. low productivity. Mm -hmm. We need to have technologies which enhance productivity, mm -hmm. which enhances um, nutrition mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and which enhances economic return mm -hmm. and that all that will make us mm -hmm. have uh, a prosperous agriculture and uh, uh, approach the food security and nutrition security that we need mm -hmm. but the owners is also on men mm -hmm. and mainly on men mm -hmm. to have this change mm -hmm. from uh, uh, just the uh, root level where we educate our children, we empower them, we give them self-confidence so that they can also uh, participate fully and uh, tell their ideas and think and share those thoughts to change and transform agriculture sector, nutrition sector, economic sector mm -hmm. in the continent. Mm -hmm. I thank you very much for your ideas, mm -hmm. for your experience. Mm -hmm. Commend you for your leadership in these areas. Mm -hmm. Uh, keep it up mm. and uh, wish the best <laughs> for Honorable <laughs> Abu Pisaru. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, viewers. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for listening to us and watching us. And we invite you for the next Kikao session. And now to the science terminology of the week on Science Speak. And this week the terminology is crop residue cover. Now crop residue or plant residue cover refers to material that is left on the cultivated land after a harvest. Retaining this crop residue on the farm usually helps to reduce soil erosion and other problems. Yes, the verdict is out. Africa's women are making a significant contribution to Africa's agriculture and food security. But there is still a lot of ground to cover in creating an enabling environment for them. Until next time, this has been your show, Kikao. Don't forget to join us next time. My name is Joa Gale.